in Hillsboro. Oregon Vape Shop is open for now, but not for much longer. And this is what we have left. We've whittled down, you know, four walls of shelving and e-liquid down to this. The last of their product sold at a deep discount before the store shuts down for good. Owner Christopher Ferreira says that's because of Washington County's new flavored tobacco ban. Enforcement of the rule begins January 1st. The ban also prohibits the sale of menthol cigarettes and flavored synthetic nicotine products. Flavored vapor products because we're a vape only store was over 90 percent of our business model. I can't survive on less than 10% of just selling the, the devices or tobacco only. Back in November, county leaders voted three to two to ban the sale of flavored tobacco, a first of its kind ordinance in the state. As the public health authority for Washington County, we have a critical role to play in addressing uh, the youth smoking uh, epidemic. I believe now is the time uh, particularly as we've seen the industry continue to innovate new uh, products. Uh, it's time for us to denormalize the use of tobacco in our community. Washington County's tobacco prevention coordinator stated in part, tobacco remains the number one cause of preventable death. Flavors mask the natural harshness of tobacco, making it easier to continue to use. However, Ferreira says he and other retailers don't sell to people under the age of 21. He feels shops like his have been unfairly targeted. They play parent overseer and thought that by banning just the flavored product, that they were going to get rid of the issue. Are you really solving for a problem when you're just moving people away? So it really creates a winners and losers uh, situation. CEO of Plaid Pantry, Jonathan Polanski, says he has two dozen stores in Washington County. While his business may only take a partial hit due to the ban, he's started a petition hoping to bring the issue to the voters. Washington County uh, couched this ordinance as something to stem youth access. So we have no issue with that, but it's still an adult product and people want choice. Polanski says they have 7,000 signatures so far and need 10,000 to get a repeal on the ballot in May. Businesses can face thousands of dollars in fines for violating this ordinance.